Welcome again to the journey of a basketball player in Mexico. It's volume five. Uh, as you can see, like I said, I think we left Moralia. Uh, went to another part of Michoacan. And now we're in the lovely city of, I believe it's called Irelia. And just got off the bus. We're waiting for it. actually the camera crews to come and just pick us up. But I went around to explore. As you can see in the far, in the far background, you see a church. And this town has a lot of history as our journey progresses. It's Tim right there. He's talking to me. I talk about something. But, you know, for the most part, man, yeah. we just got off the bus. We're, we're chilling. In a second, we're going to uh, move that way to the church. I believe it's the weekend still. So we have vendors out. You know, some food and a lot of family family time family oriented stuff's going on right now you know before the night the night time that's when you know they party so right now me and the guys we're actually going to go check out the church and like i said a lot of history that's that's in this, this small town so as you see, we're walking closer to the church. There's the sign of the city. We're taking, we're gonna take pictures over there. And then after that, after all these guys get their selfies, you know, normally we, we move our way to the, to the church. For some reason, I didn't take a picture of the, of the, of the, of the city the words I just said forget it I just record it so there's a I think Zay is the first one and he goes get these pictures and me I'm just I think somebody I think a little like are you gonna take a picture I'm like nah man I'm just recording so I mean you got to see some cool sights that's one thing I could say about this whole uh, journey adventure. Sometimes, you know, most of the time players are are too busy to, to see the sights and get to see something new. Uh, this partic particular trip, man, we were able to see a lot of stuff. So it's kind of cool, you know, once you look back at, you know, where you've been and, you know, what you got to see especially a part of history and you see there's me that's my picture right there for the video but that's all I needed I didn't need too much but I wanted to to capture the, the, the church as well my background and in the square it was pretty busy I can't lie to you that little area was pretty busy. It had, uh, like I said, stuff going on as far as even across the street. So people were out, you know, people greeted us. And I think that's this is our move to the church. Now that church has a lot of symbolic meaning. Uh, this is actually the town where uh, the Mexicans fought the French and drove them off. And this is, it's amazing like to hear the stories. It's kind of, this is kind of like their Alamo of Mexico, like down in Texas where, you know, uh, soldiers help try to, uh, they fought off the, the Spanish soldiers, I believe. You know, I'm supposed to be a history major, but sometimes I forget, but, 
um, this is this is their equivalent to the Alamo. And in those church walls, you can see uh, bullet holes of where they where the French shot at the, the Mexicans that were uh, protecting their their homeland. So it's you know this is an awesome piece of history. I got to witness it, witness it, you know, up front, up close and personal. I want to say up close and personal. And inside the church, um, it's actually gold. Inside the church, the walls are golden. They have gold on the walls. So it's it's kind of rich with history. And we actually learned a history lesson too once the camera crew came. And you can see people are looking at us. Um, I thought I had. I don't think I went inside because I believe they was doing a ceremony or like communion. So I didn't want to interrupt uh, anything with, with my camera. You know, out of respect. But it's awesome. It's a pretty huge church. And it's very nice. Um, right here, we're going to the side of it. And check it out. You know, what's on the side and what's around it. Normally, like I said, I'm the first one to initiate. Just moving. I don't like to be in one spot the whole time. So I wanted to film the whole entire church and get a glimpse of everything. And, you know, take pictures. Because normally the guys would like to stay in the front or something like that. But I want to see everything. So um, I started to move to the side to see. You know what else I can can see. You know, like the details of certain stuff across the street. They got a band going on over there, and they're playing music. So, you know, they're having a good time dancing. You see the guys over there. People are honking their horns. It's like a little convoy of people going through the town. So they're honking their horns as we walk in, because we probably were like the only. We're only black people there. So you see, you know, five, six tall black guys there. You know, there's always a lot of questions they ask you. All right, here I went to cross the street and walked to the little, I guess, park or square. And you know, look at the fountains and just look at the couples. You know, enjoying the evening because it's very nice, very uh, tranquil. Uh, I guess that's a wishing well. And over there, you can kind of see the, the band. And once we went over there, we actually, they don't show it. Well, I don't show it, but we're over there. We're actually dancing. And uh, we actually danced with some, some of the older older ladies so we had a good time dancing i think me and khalil and i think zay were dancing i think Gerald didn't dance but we had some time to enjoy ourselves the music and i enjoyed the dancing so so you know we had a we had a great time as far as being in in the city in this city in particular um also, Tim, he he caught up with uh, one of his friends from Mexico. Uh, he played for a team, and I believe uh, he got injured or something like that. Or I think either that or the season was over, and his friend that stays in this town let him, you know, stay with him and let him train and you know just chill out. Didn't really stress him too much about you know money or anything like that. And that's one thing. You know, like I said, the people there are very, very welcoming. And, you know, if if they like you, they treat you good. You know, they always treat you good. I never had any problems down in Mexico as far as with the people treating me good. You know, nobody has ever really 
treated me bad or disrespected me while I was down there. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, misconceptions. People always uh, miscon have misconceptions of, you know, certain people. But, man, they're just like everybody else, want to be respected, you know, and go after the same things, want opportunities. It's all the same. We're all the same. So there's no... There's no line for that, you know? There's no divide, because we all want the same. So, you know, I'm walking around the square. They're still playing, because I could hear the dude. I could see, well, not hear him, but I could see the dude uh, beat his drum. So they're still playing. These guys are still walking around. And people just come up to us, ask us questions. There was a couple visitors, uh, some from, I think, Chicago. Uh, California because like I said we're close to Mexico so uh, people from California they're, they're always there people from Texas you know they might come back and back and forth and people visiting their families so you know nice evening then we walk further down probably further down just to get a glimpse of everything guys are dancing and a lot of, a lot of stare, a lot of looks. Like I said, because we're the only black people and we're tall, so it's like we tower everybody. So, you know, they're looking at us, they're saying stuff to us, hey, hi. And just enjoying our company. And I think we're going to walk across the street. Down that way, they had uh, food. Towards my left, we actually gonna go towards the right because we had to meet up back with the with the camera crew. And after we had to reshoot us walking up to the church and you know do some stuff for the TV TV show. But you know we had a fun time, enjoyed ourselves in the city. Then we had everybody over here they like basketball, basketball. And these guys showed out for him. <laughs> you know, they showed out. Somebody right here, I think he has the ball right here. And he, he throws it to somebody right here. Khalil. See, Khalil gets the ball. He start acting. Start acting out. Do little tricks. You know, do some dribbling. Take some pictures. <laughs> Think Zay gets the ball next. You know, they just they like to interact with people, man. That's the biggest thing. So he takes off his uh takes off his his backpack, trying to show off the handle, dancing. <laughs> you know, acting silly, doing what basketball players do. He kicks it. But, you know, we all having a good time. You know, got people entertained. I laugh and Gerald does what he does, you know. <laughs> but that's it. Thanks.